Dudes and Dudettes, welcome back to the channel guys. So it is Tuesday, it's been a week since my last upload, I'm sorry, but I'm just busy doing stuff outside the channel. More videos to come in the future. But I am back home, back where the dream first began, the goal to be a professional soccer player first started, IMG Academy. For those of you who don't know about IMG Academy, it was actually called IMG Academies when I was here in 2007 to 2000, wherever the heck I graduated, 2013. So it was actually called IMG Academies, not Academy. But I'm back home, back in Florida, back in Bradenton, to train at IMG Academy once again. Now I'll be home guys for a good two plus months, be here in Brainton, Florida for a good two plus months. This is where IMG Academy is located, is Brainton. If you guys are in the area, let me know, hit me up, and we may train together in the future, or maybe even now if you guys are in the area right now. But let me know, hit me up, we make a video together, collab together in the future. But what are we doing today? I'm not even sure to be honest because I've been busy doing stuff outside of YouTube that's been taking up a lot of my time. It's gonna help you guys out, but it's been taking up a lot of my time. So session wise, I'm not really sure yet because I haven't planned it out, I haven't mapped it out, I haven't thought it out. So it's gonna be kind of a random session, maybe some dribbling, some turning, some juggling, and some shooting at the end. But I'll see you guys on the pitch here in a second. Take me up small, breathe me in and let me go Filling the lungs inside you And the black and eyes make my way into your mind Just to know what you knew Christmas every time we start Guys, most of you probably have questionable comments or comments that are questionable down in the comment box below that are critiquing why I'm doing so many non center back workouts. Like, what's the point behind doing dribbling and shooting as a center back? I'm just trying to be more marketable and diversified as a player, guys. Meaning that if I can play three positions over someone that can just play one, I have more leverage over that player and I have more probability to be chosen to go pro over that player that can just play one position. So, I'm just trying to be more marketable and diversified as a player. So, that's why you guys see a lot of dribbling and shooting workouts from me as of lately. But, speaking of comments, questions, concerns, Concerns though, most of you guys are just lost, I guess, when it comes to speed program because the questions I'm getting are just very basic and very generic, guys. Like, look at the program, look at the pictures. Like, I included pictures in the program this time so you guys wouldn't have to ask me these questions. Like, most of the movements in there are pretty self explanatory, but apparently they're not because the questions I'm getting are just very basic. But actually, filming myself performing all the movements for you guys, so I'm gonna sit down with you guys right now and talk about each and every single exercise. 
All right, so before we begin here, I don't mind answering you guys' questions at all, but just make sure it's not something you can find on your own time, your own research, because a lot of those questions are pretty self-explanatory when it comes to online research. Like, it's not that difficult to find how to perform a front squat, because there's, there's a thousand different examples online when it comes to performing a front squat. So just make sure it's not something you can find on your own time, your own research, because I don't have a lot of time to answer these questions. I do reply to all these questions that are sent to me, but it takes me a few days to actually send back a reply. So again, just make sure that it's not something you can find on your own time. That's all I'm asking. So let's go hop into the program here. All right, so if you click on your speed program, you'll see the first exercise is the hand clean, which I unfortunately did not film the day I recorded all these exercises. I thought I filmed it, but I didn't, so I apologize. We're gonna skip the first one, off to a great start here. So we're gonna skip, um, we're gonna skip hand clean and go on to the deadlift. One quick note guys and one tip before we begin here, and that's if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, please don't add weight to the bar, just master your form, master the movement, master the exercise, and then add weight down the road. So my one plea is don't add weight to the bar if you're new to the gym. So the first movement is the deadlift. Now this is probably the most simple and straightforward exercise you can ever do guys. It's just picking a bar off the ground, coming straight up, and just picking the bar off the ground. Like it seems very straightforward and very easy, but it's something I see a lot of people fail at. Number one, because they're not over the bar enough, and number two, because they're back is hunched. Pictures coming on the screen right now for you guys to see the proper form and the improper form of the deadlift. Now all I'm doing here guys is I'm standing with my midfoot under the barbell. I'm gonna bend over and grab the bar with the shoulder with grip. I'm gonna bend my knees until my shins touch the bar. I'm gonna lift my chest up and straighten my lower back. I'm gonna take a big breath and hold it and stand up with the weight. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Please don't round your back or round your shoulders over while you're picking up the weight. But that is the deadlift. Yeah, so apparently I didn't film this exercise either, guys, so my apologies, but I just found uh, some personal trainer off YouTube whose form is probably a lot better than mine, so you're welcome. Now we have the single leg Romanian deadlift. Now this is a movement that's kind of hard for people that are not flexible, so just make sure that you are fully optimizing your stretching capabilities by stretching every single day. 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day is optimal for someone who's playing football. So just make sure that you're stretching daily if you guys want to perform this movement properly. But single leg RDL. I'm gonna stand balancing my right leg and holding a dumbbell or dumbbells with my left hand in front of my thigh. I'm gonna sit my hips back as if I were being pulled by a rope attached to my waist and allow my right knee to bend slightly. My left leg should be straight. I'm gonna keep my back flat and continue to move with the waist until the dumbbell is at about mid shin height. I'm gonna drive up my heels and push my hips forward until I stand up to the starting position. So that is the single leg RDL. And now we have the front squat. The front squat and I go back many, many years, probably close to 10 years, and I critiqued and mastered the form over the course of my front squat career. I first held the bar like this. So it was cross, and then it was down to all my fingers, and then down to two fingers, now it's down to one finger. So if you guys are just starting out doing the front squat, it feels like you're almost choking yourself because the bar is like pressed up against your neck. It's just something that you have to get used to and something you have to master over the course, again, of your uh, front squat career. But now I hold the bar with just one finger resting on my shoulders pretty much. So there's a few variations to hold it, but holding it with one finger, in my opinion, is the best uh, way to go. So how do we complete the full front squat? Well, the first thing is I'm gonna keep my elbows high and my upper arms above parallel to the floor. I'm gonna begin to lower the bar by bending my knees as I maintain a straight posture and continue down until the angle between my upper leg and calf becomes slightly less than 90 degrees. So that is the front squat, guys. That is the details of the front squat. Moving on to the last exercise, the last movement, and that is the Bulgarian split squats. So how do you perform a Bulgarian split squat. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into my lunge position with my torso upright, my core braced, and my hips squared in my body with my back foot elevated on the bench. Lower your body until your front thigh is almost horizontal, keeping my back knee in line with your foot. Don't let your knee travel beyond your toes. I'm gonna drive through my front heel, back to the starting position again, keeping my movements measure. And that wraps up kind of uh, the little demonstration here for the speed program, guys. I know I didn't go over five of the five, but it was four out of the five, so hopefully that was good enough for you guys and you learned something. And it helps you on your road to being faster and quicker and stronger on the pitch. If you guys have any questions or concerns about anything I said in the video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Try to respond to as many as I can. But I hope you guys liked this little demonstration from the speed program. But that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you gained some new profound knowledge about football that you didn't know before watching this video. If you didn't, okay. If you did, great. But one final note before we end today's video, and that is I'm starting a Facebook group called Team Molar, a space around center around people like you and me who love football, who are passionate about football, and want to connect with people like you and me. So network, connect, and share your experiences about football so you guys can educate yourselves, not just through me, but through yourselves, about the game. I'll be going through applications in the next few days. It's application-based only, so if you guys aren't into football, 
football, you won't be admitted into the group. It's called Team Molar. Make sure you add yourself into that group. But as always, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, put some on the channel, comment, like, share. As always, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Deuces. Let the